Our world is filled with strange and unexplainable occurrences that seem to happen every single day. From reports to the horrifying to startling new discoveries in the field of science, it feels like almost every other day we are learning something new about our planet that we never previously imagined. Sometimes it's not just what's happening on our planet that seems to defy all logic either. There are rare cases in which it seems that our planet itself seems to demonstrate unexplainable phenomena overall. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five different things that our planet does that scientists can't seem to explain. The weakening of the electromagnetic field. Scientists, when mapping out the changes of the electromagnetic field, have found tremendous instances of weakening that do not seem to be even all around the planet. In fact, one of the largest places in which this weakening occurs in the electromagnetic field is above the continent of Africa. It appears that there has been a dramatic weakening in the field that has been occurring over the last 1,000 years. Experts believe that this could be an instance of magnetic pole reversal slowly taking shape and that the reason as to why this weakening in the electromagnetic field is occurring is due to a very special property the continent possesses. Over the expanse of the South Atlantic anomaly, of which is a huge stretch of land that encompasses the distance from Chile to Zimbabwe, the weakening seems to be at its worst in this area. In fact, satellites are incapable of moving over this area as the additional bombardment of radiation and cosmic rays completely damages the technology. Interestingly enough, new data and information shows that several times in the past, such as from 400 to 450 CE, from 700 to 750 CE, and from 1225 to 1550 CE, there was this weakening in the exact same area. This has led research scientists to believe that the geographic location is partially responsible for this weakening and that there seems to be strong evidence to insinuate that the core mantle boundary under Africa could be playing an important part in the global magnetic field. Unfortunately, any additional information surrounding the correlation is completely unknown, and scientists are still racing to try to find an answer as to how and why the magnetic field is weakening in this area, and what it could mean for the current placement of the magnetic poles. Magnetic Pole Reversals For reasons almost completely unknown by research scientists and physicists, every several thousand years it appears that our planet undergoes a dramatic change in its electromagnetic field that causes the magnetic poles to reverse. This means that the South Pole will switch with the North Pole and vice versa, and the compasses all along the world will point to true South instead of true North. As random as this might seem, current simulations have been done to show that this phenomena has occurred several times in the past, as well as additional evidence that has been discovered on the ocean floors to confirm the switching of the poles roughly every 26,000 years. Although simulations did show that under the right conditions, the planet can switch poles at random times, there was no definitive evidence as to what these right conditions are and how we can predict them in the future. Scientists believe that potentially the movement of the shifting layers of the Earth and the waters on the surface play a key part, but nothing conclusive has been decided at this point in time. Regardless, scientists believe that a switchover could happen in the next couple of thousand years and that its effects on the world are still widely unknown. Borderline Unpredictable Weather Patterns Today, with the advancements of the meteorological field of study, it is no wonder that people believe that weather can be accurately predicted by scientists weeks or even months in advance. The truth is, it could not be further from the case. In fact, most of the reasons as to why certain predictions made five days in advance seem accurate is due to uses and techniques used in numerical forecasting and annual previous weather patterns. 20 years ago, the one-day forecast was seen to be reliable less than 20% of the time, whereas today, we find that the three-day forecast is reliable only 60% of the time. Anything past five days leaves scientists scrambling for an answer 
and even more wondering about their weekend plans. The cause of the Earth's unpredictable weather patterns is mostly due to the heat given by the Sun, wind currents, the randomness of other concepts such as the weakening of the electromagnetic field, pollution, greenhouse gases and even movement of ice in different areas of the world. This leads many scientists to conclude that it is impossible to reliably predict future weather anything out past five days in the future, as by that point in time, variables become so intertwined with impossible to forecast events that it could be completely random when compared to previous data. As important as it is to understand weather in the day-to-day -day agenda, it appears that it won't ever be possible for scientists to predict future weather patterns with accurate detail. The driving forces behind climate change Although it seems to be one of the biggest issues that humanity is concerned with in the modern day, the truth is that scientists and research experts are no closer to understanding the primary forces to climate change and the reasons as to why it occurs. Initially, research scientists found a correlation between the Industrial Revolution and the output of CO2 in the atmosphere as to one of the primary changes in global warming but it did not take long for new evidence to come forward to show that an increase in carbon dioxide led to an increase in the growth of plant life. Though this might not make much sense, the more there is plant life, the less carbon there is in the atmosphere, as trees use the carbon to construct the majority of the cells in their body. This meant that those clear-cutting and burning plant life as fuel, a source of energy once deemed as renewable, were those contributing to the majority of the growth in CO2 in the atmosphere. Interestingly enough, CO2 also seems to be old news, as many claim that methane is 36 times more heat-conserving than CO2 and is one of the primary factors in the global warming issue. The truth is, methane has always been a part of the natural methane cycle, and the methane produced by agriculture, even if there is more life in agriculture, are at a net zero production as the methane produced is that of methane already existent in the natural methane cycle of the planet. Evidence of other changes seem to be more relevant as the amount of naturally formed water vapour has increased across the planet, which traps more heat and causes the production of more water vapour. Additionally, the melting of polar ice caps has removed the blanket of white protective snow that would usually find itself reflecting the majority of the light from the sun. The less ice, the more heat. The more heat, less ice. It appears that the driving forces of climate change are naturally forming. With no clear-cut answer in the foreseeable future, this can very well mean that the changes seen in global warming and climate change are well out of our control. The Dragon Aurora Borealis Though this might seem like a fantastical occurrence only meant for that of the myths and legends seen all throughout the ancient Scandinavian lands, Reports of a dragon made from the Aurora Borealis surfaced back in early February of this year. Scientists are having a hard time trying to explain why researchers experienced one of the largest Aurora Borealis images in the sky that took the shape of a fire-breathing dragon that wrapped across the sky. The event was seen over many parts of Iceland, with researchers recording the event to better understand its causes. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration recently posited some data forward that claimed the new, never-before-seen solar activity bursts on the Sun were responsible for the massive image of the dragon in the sky. The space agency claimed that auroras with distinct shapes and three-dimensional images can form when the Sun's magnetic fields begin to twist together and create massive sunspots. These sunspots then create a large amount of charged particles that will shoot out into deep space in a solar wind, and if such a force happens to hit against the Earth just right, it can create supermassive aurora borealises as the magnetic field of the Earth battles the energy and radiation of the Sun. Interestingly enough, researchers found that there has been no evidence of these sunspots in the month of February to have caused this tremendous image and that the recently proclaimed evidence of this finding from NASA was nothing more than data gathered long before that point in time. This meant that scientists all across the world did not seem to have any source of reason as to why the image appeared and the naturally formed aurora borealis was so different to its normal formations. Additionally, 
Researchers of whom took the photographs claim that there were many different images rather than just that of the dragon, such as the image of a large phoenix-like bird and the detailed body of the dragon moving through the sky. Many have already theorized that perhaps our ancestors were well aware of these images many years ago and that the myths of fire-breathing dragons and phoenixes made from nothing but fire originated from these areas. But what do you think of these five strange things that our planet does that makes it borderline impossible to understand, predict and study? Are there any theories on the matter that you personally believe helps to explain some of these strange occurrences? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.